KMR. We're talking some rotary. We're going to talk that brap. Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for watching subscribing by the time i drop this video hopefully it'll be thirteen thousand subscribers i can't believe it and uh, yes we are going to get back to the hybrid renesis rotary as well if you're familiar with that project along with a couple other new projects soon but we're always working on rotaries and we're always talking technical information and i know i've covered it a little bit in the past but exhaust sleeves uh the manufacturer's intentions were always as a heat barrier heat protection between the exhaust being expelled out from the motor and the uh the water galleries the aluminum housing basically a nice heat barrier and it played other roles it had egr passages exhaust gas recirculation depending on emissions and uh, it also had mufflers built in, depending on the make, model, naturally aspirated, um, and what it was doing. The 20B was pretty amazing. It had some muffling and it had some exhaust gas recirculation. Um, if anybody knows anything more about that, I'd love to hear it. It also has some restriction that I believe had to do with velocity. It was running small turbos. It was in a big car. Um, it wasn't designed for performance. These had very intended goals from Mazda. And when it comes to performance, when you're playing with rotor housings, you're doing porting, you're trying to make power, make performance, the straight through design is the best. Obviously, you don't want to block your exhaust flow, but even the best uh, sleeves often had EGR ports or passages. And uh, I've talked about them in the past, but you can get aftermarket sleeves. And since I have some in right now, I figured I'd talk about it a little. They're fantastic. Straight through design. They basically drop right in. In some cases, you need to trim down the EGR um, if there's any type of EGR tube sticking up in there. And then you roll pin them back in. And if you want to see how to remove those roll pins, I'll drop the link below because I've done it in previous videos. But you can see uh, even when it's a brand new 20B housing, we pop that oe sleeve out unless it's going into an oem street car this motor is a performance build for a, a race car so uh dropping in the high flow sleeves a nice fitment titanium so it's got great heat barrier characteristics and now we're able to do some great porting up to a proper sleeve so i would always put these sleeves in prior to doing the porting so we're looking good. Uh, just figured I'd do the follow up on the sleeve topic. They're lightweight, great heat barrier. Um, they're special order. Maybe I'll put them on the website, but they are readily available. So if you didn't know, now you know. Rotary engines like exhaust sleeves. We've done the dyno testing via Mazda Tricks, and uh, they like the straight through sleeve. And depending on your power and what you're trying to do, moving the port up or down can change your port timing, which is similar to cam timing in a rotary. So obviously having the best flow, best velocity, and the ability to protect the investment, the rotor housing, uh, because it is aluminum is it, and it is a, a susceptible component to shrinkage when it comes to uh, heat being uncharacteristically hot or water gallery issues that can lead to uh, overheating the rotor housing can shrink so i think having a good sleeve and optimizing exhaust flow uh, for porting for performance is always just uh, the best of all the worlds so i hope that uh, wraps it up just a little bit of technical information kmr tech talk make sure to uh, check out mazda tricks for all your rotary components that's where we picked up a brand new 20b housing for this build and some other parts and uh, make sure to check out KMR for all your services. We're porting, polishing, and building rotaries daily. That's a wrap.